Hey everyone, this is your five minute daily devotional. Today's scripture reading is coming from 1 Kings chapter 13, verses 16 through 18. It reads as follows. The man of God said, I cannot turn back and go with you, nor can I eat bread or drink water with you in this place. I have been told by the word of the Lord, you must not eat bread or drink water there or return by the way you came. The old prophet answered, I too am a prophet as you are. And an angel said to me by the word of the Lord, bring him back with you to your house so that he may eat bread and drink water. But he was lying to him. Mm, mm, mm. This scripture right here, there is so much in the scripture. So in this chapter, a man of God, a prophet, someone we don't even get a name from, is sent on assignment by God to the king of Israel, to King Jeroboam. But God gives the man very specific instructions, very specific. And I want you to pay attention to two key things here. One, God himself speaks to the man of God. And two, this man of God is a prophet of the Most High God, meaning he probably has a track record with God. He's heard from God and in the past, he knows God's voice. The man of God, the prophet, is instructed by God not to turn back, not to eat and drink in that place. And an old prophet, an old man comes along and says, oh, not so. An angel came and told me that you are to come back with me to my house and eat and drink with me. That first prophet, that man of God, listens to this old prophet instead of God, goes back with him and ends up losing his life because of it. I believe this scripture emphasizes that one, it is vitally important to have your own personal relationship with God, your own personal relationship with Jesus Christ. And two, you are to dig your heels in. You are to be relentless and protective of that relationship. God speaks to each and every one of us directly. And when we come into and grow in a relationship with him, he shows us things about us. He speaks to us about us. He speaks to us even more so directly. But the interesting thing about God is that he's not telling everyone what he's telling you about you and vice versa. He's not telling you everything he's telling everyone else about them. He's not telling your parents or friends or even pastors everything he's telling you. Sometimes yes, and that comes as confirmation and that is awesome. But most times, He's not. God is sometimes on a need to know basis. And I think this is because he doesn't want us to get swayed by too many opinions. And also the enemy can come in and use other people's opinions to get us to doubt what God has told us, which is what happens with this particular prophet, this man of God. In the book of Galatians, the apostle Paul writes that let anyone be cursed, even an angel of God, let anyone be cursed if they preach to you a gospel other than the gospel that God has sent, other than a gospel that he has sent out to us. And do you know why? Because that is precisely what the enemy uses to draw people away from God with slight twists, slight perversion, slight doubts. To be plain, do you know how many religions and sects there are in existence today where someone says the the founder of that new sect or religion says that an angel of God came to them and showed them a new and better way. If God has told you something, you know that you know it's him. It's in his word. It's by his spirit. It is in his circumstances. If God has spoken to you, don't you dare let anyone tell you otherwise. Let anyone doubt that you have heard from God directly. It could cost you your destiny. It could cost you everything God has for you. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, help us to recognize your voice. Your sheep know your voice. So help us to recognize when it's your voice, the enemy voice, or our voice, Lord. Help us to recognize your voice and help us to stick with it, Lord. No matter what other people say or what the circumstances look like, help us to have a tenacity, God, and a drive and a faithfulness to believe and stick to everything that you have spoken to us, God. Help us to always, Lord, put you first, God, and to stay on your path in Jesus name. Thank you guys for spending this time with me. If you enjoyed this devotional, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I thank you so much for it. You guys have an amazing, amazing day. God bless you. I'll see you next time.